Let's have a look at a couple of examples of how we can convert complex numbers from Cartesian form to polar form. And by Cartesian form, we mean the form x plus jy, where on an Argan diagram, x is the real part of the imaginary number, so that is the horizontal coordinate of a point on the Argan diagram, while y is the imaginary part of the number, represented as a vertical coordinate of the point. So this here would be an example of a complex number in this form. But we can also express a complex number in the polar form z equals r cis theta, where cis theta is short for cos theta plus j sine theta. And r is the magnitude of the number, that is its distance from the origin. And theta, expressed as a positive number, would be the angle the number makes anti-clockwise with the positive x-axis. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of converting from Cartesian form into polar form. And first, just a general comment, you'll notice that from Pythagoras, r is always in fact just equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And in most cases, and I'll talk about the exception shortly, in most cases tan theta is equal to y divided by x. So for the first example, Let's look at writing z equals 1 plus the square root of 3j in polar form. So first we could start by finding magnitude r. In this case the real part x is 1. The imaginary part is the square root of 3. So the magnitude will just be the square root of 1 squared plus square root of 3 squared, which is just the square root of 1 plus 3. That just gives the square root of 4 is 2. So the magnitude of this complex number r is 2. Let's have a look then at theta. And it's often a good idea, in fact, to just draw a quick sketch so you can see what the number looks like on our Argan diagram. Now, 1 is the real part here. Square root of 3 is the imaginary part. So that means our number would be positioned there on the Argan diagram. And this would be the required angle theta. So in this case, tan theta is going to be the square root of 3 divided by 1. And in this case, because we're in the first quadrant, theta in fact will just be inverse tan or arctan of this. So arctan of the square root of 3, which works out in this case to give us pi on 3 radians or 60 degrees. So therefore in this case, 1 plus the square root of 3j, converting that into polar form, that would be of the form 2 cis pi on 3 or equivalently 2 cis 60 degrees. So for our second example, let's write z is negative 2 minus 2j in polar form. And again, we'll start off with a quick sketch to see what this looks like on our Argan diagram. And negative 2 will be over there. Negative 2j will be there. So in this case, we have our complex number here. And once again, the magnitude r is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. So square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared here, which just works out to be the square root of 8. Or equivalently, we could write that in the form 2 root 2, just simplifying that. Now, theta could be expressed as a negative angle if we went around clockwise. And that is probably the way we would usually do it, as it's often good to express the angle being between negative pi and pi. Now, in this case, we can think of this the real part x of this number is equal to negative 2. Imaginary part y is also negative 2. If we were to work out inverse tan of negative 2 divided by negative 2, in this case, that will just give us the inverse tan of 1, which works out to be pi over 4. But clearly this angle made with the positive x-axis is not pi on 4 radians. And because of the fact that we're in the third quadrant for this example, we actually need to add or subtract pi from this number to get the correct angle. And if we want to get the angle between negative pi and pi, for instance, it would be theta is pi on 4 minus pi, giving us the appropriate angle negative 3 pi on 4. So hence, z equals negative 2 minus 2j in polar form would be of the form 2 root 2 cis negative 3 pi divided by 4. 
Let's look at just one more example. It's just a little bit different. Let's look at how we would write z equals negative 4j in polar form. And again, let's start by drawing our argan diagram to see what this actually looks like. In this case, the real part is 0 and the imaginary part is negative 4. So our number would actually just be right down the negative imaginary axis. Now in this case, the magnitude, because the real part x is 0 and the imaginary part y is negative 4, that would just be the square root of 0 squared plus negative 4 squared, which is just 4. But you can also see here that distance is fairly easy to work out anyway, since that clearly is just 4 units away from the origin. But if we tried to use arctan of negative 4 divided by 0 to get the angle, that obviously wouldn't work since division by 0 is undefined. So when the number actually has an imaginary part only, it's easiest to find the angle by simply looking at it on our diagram. And this angle round here is actually negative 90 degrees or negative pi on 2 radians since we're going clockwise there rather than anti-clockwise to get the angle. So in this case, hence theta is negative pi on 2 and hence we can see in polar form, z is of the form forces negative pi on 2.